This is the video number one of the Structural Heart Intervention Series presented by Joe Aoun and Sachin Goel. Here we present a sentinel cerebral device insertion. The sentinel device has two filters, one that is distal that is deployed in the left common carotid artery and one that is proximal that is deployed in the right brachiocephalic artery. The device has also three knobs. The first knob is used to deploy the proximal filter the second knob helps with antiflexion of the distal edge of the catheter or retroflexion. And the third knob is used to deploy the distal filter. In this case, we performed an aortic arch angiogram to delineate the right brachiocephalic artery and the left common carotid artery. A roadmap can be used to guide the operator. So here we can see that after gaining a right radial axis with a 5-6 slender sheath, a long guide wire, which can be a chose floppy or a mailman or a Grand Slam 300, was advanced into the ascending aorta. The sentinel device is inserted over the guide wire into the ascending aorta. And then the deployment of the proximal filter is performed 1 to 2 centimeters above the ostium of the right brachiocephalic artery. This can be achieved by sliding the first knob backwards The second important step is actually to antiflex the device using the second knob and then direct that catheter towards the left common carotid artery. Here we can see a slow retraction of the device. Using clockwise or counterclockwise rotation can be helpful in order to direct the catheter towards the left common carotid. Then the guide wire is actually advanced towards the left common carotid. Here we see multiple attempts to uh, wire the left common carotid. After successfully advancing it into that vessel, all the device system is actually pulled back so the catheter cannulates the left common carotid ostium. The last step is to advance the distal filter and deploy it in the left common carotid artery using the third knob. After performing the TAVR, the sentinel device is retracted by uh, resheathing the distal filter, then retroflexing uh, the catheter, and finally resheathing the proximal filter. The device is then retracted over a wire. 